Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. So if you are also not new here, then you probably noticed that I'm on the floor or at least the lower part of my makeup station or makeup background, whatever you want to call it. Basically what I am doing today is I am doing a lipstick declutter. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time because I have almost 500 lipsticks and at some point I just have to realize that I'm not going to use all of them and they are not going to be used in a time before they get expired or they're wasted and I have to throw them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and be sitting down here and my awesome super lovely husband will be holding the camera and I'll just be doing a quick declutter with you guys. I hope it's quick. Again, it's a lot of lipsticks. I will tell you I will not be going through my Kylie Cosmetics one because I'm just not giving any of those away. So as always guys, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we will get right into it. All right, so these three drawers are my primary lipstick drawers. Um, so in the declutter, I do know that I will not be getting rid of any of my Kylie lip products. So I'll open it to show you, but if you haven't seen my makeup collection already, I kind of went through it, and I will link that video above, but I will not be getting rid of any of this. I'm actually adding. Um, I have more stuff that I have to put in here. I just have to kind of categorize it um, on an Excel sheet that I have. So the first one I think I'm going to do is this one. This is all ColourPop up here. So the first one I think I'm going to do is this one because it is a super random drawer. Um, I have some ABH, Lunar Beauty, which I have more Lunar Beauty to put in here. Huda, a bunch of random name brand, a bunch of random off brand. So we're going to kind of go through. And basically what I'm doing, if you do not know what a declutter is, because I have almost 500 lipstick items or lip items, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to get rid of the ones I don't use or if they're super old. And just so you guys know, in no way do I throw any of these away unless they're bad. I have a lot of siblings. I actually have five sisters and one brother. So I am one of seven. And I have sisters, my mom, my cousins, my daughters. So I promise you none of this ever gets wasted or just thrown out unless it's expired or really gross. So moving on, we're going to start with my Laura Lee lipsticks. Um, these are actually really amazing liquid lipsticks. If you guys don't have these, they're not a terrible price. I did not care for this one, which is rose icing. And it was like basically a shimmer metallic one. Um, but I will keep it because I do like most of the collection. My favorite was the Kiss Miss. Yes, it's a very nice formula, but this cheap like labeling, it definitely rubs off. So I'm going to keep those and I have stuff down below. I'm organizing like in spaces. So if you see my hands keep going out of camera, it's because I'm putting stuff on the floor. So since I went in here, I guess this is where we'll stick. So this is my Lunar Beauty. So I also wanted to grab these out of my other drawer because these are also Lunar Beauty items I have. I will not be getting rid of any of these because I do absolutely love his brand of lip items. The glosses, I am not the biggest fan of. Just the smell is too sweet, but they're really, really good quality. They're not too thick. They're nice and shimmery. So I'm a big fan of those. So we're gonna keep those. I have a feeling this is gonna be very hard to get rid of these so these are my abh lipsticks and honestly i don't wear these anymore like ever so i think i might keep ashton which is this brown one veronica because it is like a really nice mom and then i think i might keep catnip and then these three are going to be gone just because they're all very similar and I'm just I'm not really into a lot of the pink pinks and I do have a couple in other brands so I'm going to move those into the give to somebody pile this is gonna take a long time all right so this is my one and only Fenty I hate that this separates it's really actually gross that it does that this is the um, Uncensored Stunna Lip Paint. She's came out with a lot more since then. But I really just, until I can display these, 
I, I just don't buy that many of them. My daughter thought it was nail polish one time and painted with it everywhere, but it is a really, really, really good liquid lipstick, and I love this red. I just haven't gotten into the other lipsticks, and if you hear something moving around, that is my cat Harley. She is here to join us. So the next items I have are also Fenty Beauty, which is, look how this has settled. This was my first ever one. This is the one that she first launched, which was the Fenty Bomb. These are amazing. If you do not have Fenty glosses, these are ones you have to get. So obviously I will be keeping them. So these are the first ever KKW Beauty um, lip glosses and I will be keeping those. They came in the Mario collection. And then I have the Smashbox and Vlada, but these are all metallic and I really don't care for metallic liquid lips. So I think I'm gonna give these away too. One piece down. Um, so these are my Huda lipsticks. And I really wish I could sit here and tell you that I could get rid of any of these. So Trendsetter is one of my favorite. It's the most used. Um, I did not like the Demi Matte, so it was the only one I have left. I just love the color, so I haven't gotten rid of it. And I love these colors. They're just such a nice neutral, like nude or like pink, maroon. So I think I'm gonna keep these as well because I love them. And then this is the Milk Makeup Lip Vinyl. I actually liked these at first, but if you look here, they separate very easily. But these actually are not that old. Um, it just never dries down. It's basically more of a thicker, like, gloss, if that makes sense. It's not really a liquid lip. It stays that shimmery, glossy color. So for me, it's just kind of thick, and I don't think I'll be keeping those. I'm gonna put those in the maybe, though. So these are just some other randoms. I don't know how they got in here. I'll put these over here, and then we'll go through them. These are also Fenty items that I have that I really like. Um, they are lip toppers. So if you're not new to my channel, I'm a real big fan of lip toppers because they can go over really any different color and give it a change, give it a shift in color, make it glossy if it's matte, more comfortable to wear. You can wear them on their own and they're shimmery and beautiful. This one is my favorite, which is Mermaid Thighs, I think. I thought Snake was my favorite. Yeah, Snake is my favorite. Mermaid Thighs is pretty too, but Snake is one of my favorite. It just has like a brown green shift. You can hear my cat, sorry. And I just absolutely love it. And I do want to point out that I know my hands are crazy looking. Um, I have eczema really, really bad. And because I'm pregnant, I really don't want to use the steroids that I usually use. So if you guys have any recommendations on hand stuff for eczema, kind of getting it to calm down, let me know in the comments below because I need it. All right, so I'm obviously keeping the Fenty lip toppers. I'm a big fan. Um, this I bought, this is from Morphe. I think it's really, like, I don't have a lot of Morphe lip items. These glosses came with their summer bronzy set it was some kind of like bronzing set or something i have the video i'll go ahead and post up but i'm gonna keep these because i'm a big fan of gloss and i think that they're really super pretty this one is punch and i think it's just the cutest color and it has like nice color to it so it's not super thick like the milk makeup but it gives enough tint and color that it's so pretty but not too thick i don't like that so we're moving in to my dose of colors makeup which i think i'm actually one of these is in my purse so basically what i do is i put my lipsticks that i wear that day in my purse and then they don't leave until like a month where i'm like oh i should probably clean out the 30 lipsticks i have so these are the liquid lipsticks i have some from the i love sarahi collection from the desi x katie collection just their regular collection I'm a big fan. They're decently priced. They're $18. Pretty normal for a liquid lipstick. And they work really, really well. The only one I don't like is the glosses because this one it just has too much like uh, grainy glitter to it. It just isn't my thing, but it's not the worst glitter I've had. So I will probably keep that as well. I love glitters. So, and these, I used these recently but I love the color, I love the formula. I just wish that the actual lipstick went all the way down in the tube like a regular tube lipstick because it makes a mess all in the lid and everything. So moving on, this is a random 
Becca lipstick. This is Sorbet. And it's just a cream lipstick. I absolutely love it. I love that this is magnetic. I think I got it from like TJ Maxx or something. But I'm going to put it back there when I reorganize just because it's random. But with my Jeffree Star stuff. If you guys have a better way for me to organize lip items, please leave any recommendations you have down below. Because I honestly think this is my worst organized drawer. Because I just don't know how to organize them. Because they're all different like shapes and sizes and compartments so if you have any recommendations let me know because i'm struggling here so these are all my jeffree star tube lipsticks um i did a full lip swatch of all of his lipsticks that i have so i'll go ahead and link that above instead of going through all those but i do love these they're a little bit dry because they are matte but they're not terrible but you can see some of these are getting sweat spots it just it doesn't mean anything terrible I know the whole Jaclyn Hill scandal thing with the sweat spots it just means they're old and they've been in and out of temperature so like if I carry them with me in the summertime out in my purse they're gonna get like that so I'm not really worried about it I think that it's totally fine I've been using these and I've had no issue so I don't think it's a big deal if you think it's a big deal, as always, you can tell how long your items are good for by looking at the packages. It'll have a little square with a number or a little container. I know you probably can't see it, but it's a little container here with a number 18, 24, 12. That's technically the expiration date, so if you're kind of weird about that stuff, then throw it out by all means. But for me, I have lipstick that is ages old, so I am not by any means about to throw out lipstick. So... Going here, we have some MAC items, Marc Jacobs. This is my most random, let me move this. This is my most random thing, I wanna say. Like I have a Kat Von D left, and I think, cause I gave the rest of them away, this is Sanctuary. And this one is just a beautiful, oh my God. Like brown, what is this? Like a mauve stone. I don't know how to describe this one, but it's freaking beautiful i have some nyx lip oil which is gonna have to go but that's gonna go in the trash because it's old and then all of these Too Faced melted latex i told my husband how bad i needed them i needed them and i don't wear them so i will probably give those away as well all of these they're just too thick they're sticky they make a mess um, the clear one's okay. It's the one I've used the most. I'll probably actually throw that out instead of giving that away because it's just gross. But these colorful ones, they have similar texture to the Milk Vinyl, but they're thicker. I'm just not the biggest fan of the formula. They are beautiful colors. Just again, not my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in the giveaway to somebody and this one will be trash. So I got this one from Sally's Beauty. I actually don't like it. I'm going to go ahead and give that in the giveaway too. I'll be giving away this one. Um, I actually don't mind the melted metals so bad as the other ones. But the only problem is it's almost like a lip tint for some reason. It's not an actual like lipstick. So I do like to wear that in the summertime under a gloss. So I will keep those. And this one is just another melted latex. I got all of them. I guess I gave some away. Um, I'll be keeping the Kat Von D. Uh, Tarte, I'll be keeping. Mm, trying to separate them. Tarte, I'll be keeping. This is so pretty. And then these are from the Becca and Chrissy Teigen collection. I really, really like these. So I'll be keeping those as well. This is just a regular buxom gloss. Um, I think I'm going to let this go because I have so many freaking glosses. And this is from a small company off of Instagram, Baby Bat Beauty. I'm going to keep it because I think it's a very rare color. And I want to make sure I have like a random amount of colors as much as possible. This is so pretty too. It's like a ruby slipper. Oh, let's just swatch this one. Okay. I'm running out of room to swatch. So it's just a nice formula and just like a tint of color. But the red glitter is stunning. All right, and then I'm going to keep my Bobbi Brown. This one is in the shade. This is Crushed Liquid Lip, and it is in the shade Juicy Date. This is my Marc Jacobs. I'll be keeping that. Smashbox, I do like them. And this is the Rose Before Bros, and this is the Be Legendary Liquid Pigment. And then my MAC Lip Gloss, which I'll also keep. So 
I moved on. Oh, shoot. So we have another brand. This is another small indie brand that sent me liquid lipsticks. Um, I really do appreciate that they sent me these for review. They were fantastic. I reviewed them. I did like them. However, I just have so many of the same colors. I'm going to go ahead and give these away to someone who can use them because they're really, really nice. And I don't want them to go to waste. So then we have lip toppers from Morphe, which I will keep because, well, like I said a few minutes ago, I love lip toppers. Lip toppers are perfect because they go over lipstick, they go over your lips. Like, you can wear lip toppers any way you want. These are just random lip liners that don't go with the other lip liners I have. So I think I just tossed them in here. So I will keep those. Another. This, like, was a whole set, these little Morphe lip toppers. It actually wasn't a bad deal. So that's another melted, but this is a melted chocolate, which I love this color, and I will keep. What do we got going on in here? So this is a nude by KKW. Those are pinks. I have the other pink in my purse. Um, speaking of these, I do sometime this month want to do a full lip swatch of my kkw lip items so this is the full like um they were called what was the set called the basics so like your basic essentials of her i know she has eight nudes eight pinks she might have more by now but so this is four nudes i obviously will not be getting rid of these four pinks you got and then four reds you got so again, I'm not getting rid of those. I really do like the quality. This is my first ever really super expensive lipstick. And I think it cost me like 38 bucks, maybe 40. And I got it in New York City when I went to IMATS with my husband. So I will not be giving that away because I love it. Um, these are just Too Faced Peach lipsticks. I'm gonna give these away. They're pretty, they smell nice. But honestly, I just don't wear them at all. So I might keep the orange one. See, when I start opening things, then I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll keep that. Oh, you know what? I'll keep that. Oh, that's such a beautiful fright. Eh. Yeah, they do smell really good. I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of Sure Thing. And I think I'm going to keep sex on the peach that's kind of freaking weird so we have some color pop ones this is not from the entire box that i have which i'm going to wind up taking out of that box and putting into one of these drawers these are from the shayla x color pop collection um i think one of them like this color is called Ooh, maybe like the noise she makes. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't like the color. Not on me, at least. And then this one is really nice, but it's still super, super, super light. So I'm just not a fan of that. So I'll be getting rid of that one. And let me swatch this one just so you guys can kind of see. It's just kind of a, it's not a really flattering color on my skin tone, but I got it with the whole Shayla X ColourPop bundle. And this, oh my God! I'll be throwing this one away because it looks like one of my children ate it for dinner. So that's trash. So I have a random uh, Leah MAC lipstick. And I think it's because I ran out of, I have a whole container of MAC lipsticks up on top of the makeup drawers. But it only holds 24 and I think this is 25. So I'm going to keep it because it's beautiful. Uh, more dose of colors. Ooh, lipsticks. Yeah, they're fine. If your lipstick starts smelling funny, that's when you need to worry, honestly. If they're getting older, keep an eye on them, but if they're not doing like a lot of discoloration or smelling funny, then you're fine. So this is Fig and Ditto. These are their tube lipsticks. I'm going to put it with the other ones, but I do really like the formula of these. Hello, Harley. My cat is back into my room. So this is my Marc Jacobs one. See, I just have like random lipsticks back here. Urban Decay, Urban Decay. You have to be careful with the Urban Decay because they kind of feel like they're loose in there. So I just like these because they look like little casings, like um, shell casings. But I don't really wear them that much. But I think I'm going to keep them because they're really pretty. I'm going to try to move them up front. This is my one of my second 
Nice expensive lipsticks and it's teeny tiny. It is a Chanel lipstick. It's a beautiful color, beautiful formula. And my husband also bought this one for me. So I will be keeping that. I have two Kat Von D's studded and honestly they're pretty but I won't wear them. So I'm going to go ahead. Ooh, okay, that one I take back. I might actually wear that. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Ooh, nope, I'm gonna give it away though. I have a lot of in that color. So these are the Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks. Just regular, oh shoot, tube lipsticks. I have them in different colors. Some dark ones. I am a big fan of this darker wine color, especially for the fall. I think it's so beautiful. So what's this one? Ooh, yes. I know you guys might think that this is way too crazy, like a purple gray, but I absolutely love it. And I think it looks gorgeous against my skin tone. So here's one. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Another one I'm throwing away. Ah, all right. I guess that's what happens when you move them around and you don't know what you're doing. You're just tossing and throwing and not paying attention, so. Moral well, of the story is, kids, be careful with your lipsticks as I throw them down, right? These are kind of, these are really pretty. I really like them. I like the formula, but the packaging is outrageous. Like, if you see how hard I have to pull to get this off, that's ridiculous. <laughs> so these are my Bite Beauty lipsticks. Big fan of these. They're supposed to be like a more natural lipstick. I have a blue, a green, and then a nude color. They smell so delicious. I'm a big fan. They're not too pricey, but they're not the cheapest either. But I really like them. I like the formula and I like the quality. So we have some ABH tube lipsticks. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of these either. If I, if you want me to, I can swatch them in a video. But these I really like. I actually like these more than their liquid lipsticks. So I will be keeping all of these as well. I think I got them when it was like a buy one, get one free kind of deal going on on their website. And these are all just my Color Splash Tarte lipsticks. I have all 24. I don't know if they're all here or not, but I did buy all 24 when they came out. Honestly, I won't lie to you guys. I bought them for the packaging. <laughs> it's the only reason I wanted them. They're not a bad lipstick. The packaging... <laughs> itself when they put it together i guess it's just loose and crappy and when you try to put them on they push against the tube i've had several break on me um i actually think the miami vice is one of them no what was it it was a red one it was one of my favorite actually here it is popsicle this is actually my favorite one if you look here like it's just so messy and then it i had to buy this one from sephora because the other one i had literally had it like this went to put it on and it popped off so I was not really happy with the quality of how these were pressed but the formula themselves or how they were pressed how they were put together but the formula themselves were really nice and I absolutely absolutely love the packaging so I will be keeping these I'm um, certain things like these colors I will never be able to wear uh but because I'm keeping like look at that my gosh no I don't know if anyone would be able to wear that color but because I'm keeping all the other ones, I really cannot get rid of them because for me, it's all about collection. Like my daughters use these more than I do. If you can tell, they're disgusting on the top. So I will be keeping them just because. This is also my first tube lipstick from KKW with the Mario collection as well. And I'll add that into the KKW lip swatch when I do that in the future. But I do like her lipsticks. They're very creamy. They're very nice to wear. They don't dry down because they're not matte, but they last a pretty, pretty long time um, throughout the day. So I'm a big fan. So the next one is going to be my ColourPop drawer. Um, this one is going to be a little tricky. Who? I have so much hair in here. Um, just because it's going to take a little bit. There's lots of lipsticks. So I will be keeping all of my villain tubes and like my sets. <laughs> See, it's so hard because ColourPop is definitely one of my second favorite and I just did a ColourPop lip swatch video which I'll go ahead and tag above where I kind of went through and got rid 
of most of these that I didn't really like or I didn't really care for. So the ones that are here are kind of the ones that are here. Like these two I can definitely give away, which is Echo Park and Fairy Floss. Just because I know Echo Park is going to have to stay. It's a really pretty color. So Fairy Floss it is. Um, but I've already kind of decluttered these as I did the lip swatch. So it's really hard to have to go back through and kind of do that again. But I will tell you, I will be getting rid of this one. And I will be getting rid of most of these, which are the So Juicy Plumping Gloss. The only reason is because as I went through that video and I watched me try these on, so many of them were so the same that for me, it just doesn't make sense to keep all 20 of these when so many other people could benefit from these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through right now and this will be kind of the last things that I go through because the things that are up here on my makeup dresser, the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, the MAC liquid, uh, the MAC lipsticks, and my Lorac, I'm not getting rid of, so there's no point in doing a declutter on something that I know that I'm not gonna get rid of. So I'm gonna keep this one, which is Stunton, because I think it's really, really pretty with the pink. I'm gonna get rid of For the Clout, because it's just a really weird color. I don't know how to explain it. Like. It just doesn't like look well on my lips so I'm just gonna get rid of that one I'm gonna get rid of roundabout I am going to keep all these because it's a really pretty tint I'm keeping all talk because I like the color on my lips I am keeping intersection because it is shimmery and pretty keeping or no, I'm getting rid of that one that's type of way um, getting rid of, keeping, keeping, you always need a clear gloss, keeping, okay, so maybe I'm going to keep most of these, keeping because I love the tints on these. These aren't the worst lip glosses, but like this one, it literally just comes out very similar to this one. So for me, it's just not really necessary. Some of these are duochrome and do have a shift in color. However, it's just not worth keeping 20 of them where they're getting wasted. So that one's going to go. That one's going to go. Um, This one I'll keep. This one. So I believe that this is the, yes, yeah, so this is the weird one that kind of stains. Um, I don't know what's going on, but it comes out this color, but stains your lips this color and stains the tube this color. So I feel like I have to try it some more and figure out what's happening. So I'm going to keep this one. Weird, but going to do it. And then I'm keeping this because I just love all the shimmers in it. And this one can go. So out of those 20, I'm keeping probably half. See, this is why declutters are not easy for me. Because I'm just like a hoarder when it comes to lipsticks. When it comes to makeup, really. Let's not, let's not lie. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the give to someone else rehome them. I don't want to say giveaway because I'm not doing a giveaway. I just want to disclose that this is not a giveaway. I'm giving them away to my family. Um, so I'll go ahead and put those in there. And I think that that is actually going to be it for my lipstick declutter. Uh, it didn't take as long as I thought, which is super freaking awesome, of course. Um, and so I will be right back. All right, guys, so that was really intense. I know it kind of sounds weird, but having to go through and really decide like what you're gonna give away when it's something you're so passionate and you love, it's really hard. I know that sounds really silly, but it just is. Um, this was not easy for me. It took me a really long time. Usually I'll go through every three months and like I'll give one or two away, but this is like, I literally have like 30 plus lipsticks down here. And I'm clearing it out. Like, I'm just giving them to my siblings, my cousin, friends, family, and all of that super fun stuff. Because, you know what, they're going to get more use out of it than I will. Because some of them are duplicates and colors and all of that fun stuff. But I don't want it to go to waste. I don't want to throw it out. And if I, I have a fear that if I do keep it, it's just going to be wasted and thrown out. So I hope you really like this video. Again, guys, um, if you like the declutter videos, then go ahead and leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up and I will get some more declutter videos out there for you. I have so many different things I can declutter. Um, and as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.